Hey guys, welcome back. Today I wanted to show you just really quickly a fantastic little purchase that I made. Um, I wasn't planning on buying anything, especially because I had my birthday coming up. But fortunately I saw this come up and when I purchased I think I can't remember if I either sold a reading after or I was gifted some birthday money but it was immediately replaced which was super timing. The item that I'm talking about is actually this the medicine cards just for today. Now I'm hoping it doesn't seem weird that I'm going to talk about how much I love this because I'm really aware that I have never reviewed this deck. There is a very particular reason for that. This is my soul deck, my most loved, my most cherished and my longest owned deck. I have had this deck for such a long time and before I had this I used the original version. This is the revised. And I grew up with this deck and I grew up working with animal medicine and just animals in general. I have so much to say about this deck that I think in honesty, after doing my Medicine Woman Tarot review, which is incredibly long and took a lot of time and energy, that I've still not come to a point to sit down and give this my full attention. And the Medicine Woman Tarot is probably the other deck that I would put in line with this one. So if you don't already know, I am obsessed with animal medicine. I work with it on a daily basis. I work with it in many different capacities. And that's not what today's video is about. But I just wanted to play catch up for those who are wondering why is this the first time I'm hearing of this. I have spoke about my deck in various videos, what's your top five favourites etc. But needless to say I've had either a copy of the original or the revised edition most of my life and grown up with it since way back when. It turns out that there was this miniature deck and this again came out probably in the 80s I believe or early 90s if not. It's before the revised edition so there's no um, there's 45 cards in this whereas there's I believe 52 in this but basically what it is is it's a miniature and it is nigh on impossible to find and when you do find it it's on for so much money that I don't think I'd ever pay that for any tarot deck or oracle deck in the world but I had a just a magical moment where it popped up on eBay for oh my god the most reasonable price in the world and needless to say I, my partner super encouraged me along with a dear friend to hit purchase ASAP which I did in fact. This deck you could probably already find various videos, reviews, etc. on anyway, but you don't see a lot of this deck. And I'm really sorry that it's an out of print and people are going to be bummed about it, but I had to share it because I'm so, so excited. This has been on my wish list for an incredibly long time. I've been really patient. I have hunted high and low, so I feel like I've kind of earned the right to show it off. So as you can see, very, very small. Just to give you an idea of size, I've grabbed my Earthbound Oracle. And you can see that it's even smaller than the Earthbound Oracle made by Skull Garden, if anyone's wondering what this deck is. It's the perfect size deck for my miniature hands. And then just pop it out it comes with two little title cards you can see they've really had to squish all of the information on there so this was created by Jamie Sams and David Carson and then the artwork is by Angela Wanecki 
I am possibly pronouncing that wrong, so apologies. And then it comes with just a little real, real basic information and instructions for people. Nothing like what this amazing, you know, full version, large version comes with. This book is worth getting the deck for even if you're not into the cards, in my humble opinion. But this is a really novel idea, this deck. So here you can see the backs and yes, they did keep the infamous lightning bolt, but they've changed the colour. It's really strange for me to see it in this navy blue and white because I've just always known it to be like this. It kind of reminds me of David Bowie and whilst I don't always feel like it completely reminds me of the rest of the deck or the art, although there are lots of symbolic reasons why the lightning bolt would be on there. I've always loved the back. It's kind of cheesy old and I enjoy it. And just before I show you the deck, a little comparison of the front as well. You can see the top half's more of a sort of indigo, purpley blue as opposed to a sky blue. And there's no white borders and the red line only runs through the middle. But in essence, very, very, very similar. I love both equally, but I'm kind of biased. The colours are a little bit dulled. And as you can see, they've not got numbers because the numbers are only required for using the large book. But what they have instead is they have these keywords or key statements, sorry kind of giving you the essence of the medicine and for Ant we've got be patient, honour the present moment, find joy in the now. Now some of them feel like they resonate more than others and I will show you an example of the inside of Ant quickly. So you can see here in the large book Ant's keyword is patience and then they always have a little poem Oh tiny ant, your patience grows like the sands of time. Can I learn to be like you or is it too sublime? Then you have a whole breakdown of the meaning and the reversal. So straight away we can see that actually the keywords for this are pretty spot on. Be patient, we've got the keyword right in there. Honouring the present moment and finding joy in the now. I know this deck pretty much inside out. There's a few of the animals maybe I'm less familiar with over the years just because they only ever come out when I'm reading for other people. But as a general whole, I'm okay. Obviously, I have a copy of the book if I ever need it. And I do a lot of studies on animals of my own accord anyway outside of this, especially using anything by Ted Andrews because I love him. Um... So really this deck is a novel addition and I can carry the animal messages down really concise. One thing I would say is naturally because they never brought out a revised edition of this, there are some animals that I miss. Ironically my two stalker cards, or two of my four stalker cards, sorry, aren't in this deck because they are um, part of the revision. But... As I say, I've wanted this deck for forever and I'm so excited. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to take you through them really quickly. I'm not going to read them all, but I just felt you guys would probably want to see because this little deck is just not around very often. It does have some ageing on some parts, but actually as a whole, for a deck that's been around for as long as it has... The fact that it's only got chips on about a third of the deck and not noticeable ones most of the time at that is pretty impressive. Whoever had this deck clearly, I don't know, they either loved it or they just didn't use it very often. Here is one of my stalker cards. I love Spider. It says, dance your dreams alive, create from your heart's bliss, weave the web you want to live. And it does just encompass all of those key parts of the message. It would be a really good way to try and build your knowledge of the cards. This is one of my other stalker cards. Um, 
in in kind of like a flashcard learning capacity but as i say unfortunately finding this deck is pretty much like a gold dust unless you're willing to pay a hundred plus and even then they just don't come about very often at all but how could i not share it this is to me just magic that I never never thought I would own this deck ever and the hummingbird embrace what makes you happy be joyful count your blessings open yourself to pleasure one of the other things that I noticed about this deck is whilst sometimes it can sound affirmation-y because the nature of it is that it's condensed there are some really, really great key sentences here and some of them more challenging than others as well. So I feel like when they created this, they did stay true to the content in the, in the larger deck. So for example, Turkey, let go and give away the past. Share your gifts with generosity, feel the freedom gained. And they're just so adorable tiny are they not the cardstock is not shiny like the the larger deck as you can see it's got just a bit of a sheen on it which i've got a light above me so everything looks like that under these lights and I don't think it's as flimsy as I feel. I was very, very delicate with this when I first got it, just because of the anticipation and knowing how old it is. But actually, considering it's such a tiny deck, it's not too thin. But by nature, it being small makes it feel like it's delicate. I don't know if that makes sense. I love that this deck has Crow and Raven. I will go on about this for forever. I, I like to differentiate. They are different birds. Um, but that's just a thing of mine. <laughs> Weasel, that's one that came out for me. Not the first card, but one of the first cards. Be the detective. Honour what you find. The truth is out there. It's kind of got some Sherlock Holmes vibes going on with Sir Weasel. The owl, honour intuition, use discernment, outsmart deception, trust your first impressions. Always just makes me think of the moon card in tarot. But maybe with more of a heightened awareness. And here we are instead, at least with the revised edition, I can't remember if it came with the very first original, but with the revised edition you get nine blank cards in which you can add animals if you choose to. Mine are actually empty, however I recently was gifted a backup deck which is now my deck that I use with clients and I will probably be adding some animals to the deck. In this one they've gifted you one card and it's called Unlimited Potential and it simply says open your eyes, pay attention, trust yourself to recognise the gift being offered at this time. I do still feel like you could use this card as a placement for an animal that you've been working with or whatever comes to mind when you pull it but it's just something that you would have to decide simply before you use the deck and we'll read the last one coyote explore the present chaos see life's humor let go and laugh welcome the unexpected is it not just the most adorable little deck that you have ever seen, guys? I mean, tiny, 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 tiny. Really, really easy to shuffle. 
Um, I don't rifle shuffle. I would imagine it would rifle shuffle. I have no idea if it would damage the cards, however. Um, but the cardstock is less flexible than this but this is most people don't like this cardstock it doesn't bother me at all because it's held up to wear for so many years and you can barely tell that this is my original edition the book looks more worn and that's it you guys a really quick video as promised and just a reminder this deck is called medicine cards just for today so if you're looking for it and it happens to come up somewhere and it's a good price and this is your kind of thing then you've pretty much stumbled on a little miracle and I would say go for it. Um, I really 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 love it. I feel really lucky and it was just such good timing. It was about three or four days maybe before my birthday not too much sooner than that so really really good universal timing i hope you're all well if you've got any questions or anything you want to ask me pop them in the comments below and other than that i will catch you guys later bye